Hello, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Feed the Beast. As per usual, this is Ander, and we're back with episode 10. Oh, wait. It's 9 again, isn't it? Uh, anyways, guys, um, uh, that wasn't a mistake. Um, I had actually, unfortunately, I accidentally recorded episode 9, and then I checked the footage and I found out that for some reason my screen recorder doesn't like it when I record with Minecraft in full screen. Who knew? Uh, I was trying something new and I was being silly and I didn't actually test it because I thought, oh, full screen, of course it'll work. And it doesn't. It only captures audio and not video. So that's a problem. Um, I'm trying to find a solution, but it's looking like there isn't a solution. Um, I use the full version, the full paid version of Bandicam, and yeah, love it in some ways, but hate it in others. Um, so basically I did an entire episode without you guys, so I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time telling you what's gone on, and then we'll have a little bit of time at the end uh, to um, modernize our place, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, first things first, um, mobs. I mentioned in a past episode that Philosopher's Stone, which is somewhere... Anyway, the Philosopher's Stone can act... Oh, here we go. Um, store some of this junk for a little bit. Um, works really well. Er, works really well. Um, it can change uh, other mobs into uh, other mobs of that same type, so peaceful mobs uh, turn into other peaceful mobs, uh, nether mobs turn into other nether mobs, and hostile mobs turn into other hostile mobs. Um, and so I was using this, and uh, I got a few more items that you normally couldn't get. I got slime balls from slimes, so that's cool. Uh, I got blaze rods from blazes. And I got a few more gas tiers by accident. I got two more. That's cool. Um, with the blaze rods, I made a potion stand, but then I remembered I don't have any nether warts, so it's useless. Oh. But I have one anyway, because it looks cool. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I got a whole bunch of... I got ev actually every single color of wool from sheep. That took actually... If I go to my chest... It took about that much fuel, and keep in mind it takes two gunpowder per uh, change, and I used up pretty much all of that gunpowder to get the magenta colored wool, because for some reason that sheep did not want to spawn. Who knew? Uh, but I've gotten uh, more than all of it back. I've also burned up some more trying to get other stuff, but um, so yeah that went down. Um, that was all before the episode I recorded that didn't work. Um, I don't know, did I mention that I added another layer to the mob system? Well, if I didn't, then I did, and if I did, well, I'm stupid. Um, I added this room. This wasn't in... Uh, I did this during the episode. This is a dark room, and pretty much what you can do in a dark room is... Um, if I can make some bone meal here... And for this is, of course, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure many of you do know what a dark room is, because actually someone in the comments said, you know, you're doing the EMC thing wrong, you should make a dark room. And I was like, yo, I can do both mob grinder and dark room. So pretty much what I can do is I bone meal the ground, and most of the plants uh, pop off the ground once I bone meal it. So it's pretty much a super fast way to get seeds and flowers. Uh, the wheat seeds are and flowers are what, worth 16 EMC, and if I get like an inventory full, it's about uh, it can be a couple diamonds. So it's a pretty quick way to do that. And then when I'm done, I just put a torch back in the room so mobs don't spawn, and voila. Um, I'm in this episode. Hopefully, I'm going to automate this process so I don't have to manually click the bone meal, and it'll also automatically collect it, and that'll be fun. Um, let's see, let, the big project in the episode that 
you guys will never see um, is I'm building a storage area. Um, I built this, most of this uh, off camera, but I was showing you guys the design and like how I was organizing it. Give you quick shots of that. So pretty much what I have now is it got cobblestone, you got that. Um, I've got all these chests with one in the corner so I can get more of it if I need. Um, yeah, I just not all of these are full yet. I'm still working on moving items from upstairs to downstairs. Uh, just to make it look nicer and so I don't have random piles of everything in one chest. Uh, which annoys me. Um, I don't have OCD, but I do have, like, come on, that's a mess. This is definitely a mess. 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 Everything's a mess. Everything's a mess. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Anything else? Nothing in the nether. Okay, I think with that on, or done, we're going to move on. I actually kept it magenta sheep hostage just because of how much trouble it gave me. And then I figured out you can actually make magenta wool and feed the beast, so. Awkward. So yeah, uh, let's see, did I make any new items? I made these items, I don't really need to tell you what they do right now because I was just testing if they worked, and they do, so we'll probably see that in the future. Um, oh yeah, I remembered that um, these indigo flowers, which I got a whole bunch from bone mealing in my dark room, if you craft them you can get indigo dye, which is a replacement for lapis in almost all dye recipes, so that's cool. Um, which means I can make magenta wool, of course, and that kind of made me mad, but at the same time that's cool, I guess. Um, playing around with some redstone, and yeah, so what I wanted to do this episode is this transmutation tablet, as you know, it lags when I open it up. It lags when I open it up. Good grammars. Um, but yeah, I kind of don't want to use that if I don't have to, especially on camera. So I was thinking like, you know, I want to use EMC because that's how I do this map pretty much. It relies heavily on EMC. Um, but I came up with an idea pretty simple idea. Um, I will use this when I'm not on camera and I need a new item or something, or I'm completely out of something, which hopefully never happens. But on the time when I am on camera, I still want to put stuff and burn it to get EMC. So here's my idea, and it involves two new machines. Who knew? So what we're going to do is we're going to need glass. Where's my glass? Where's my glass? I probably put it in the chest where I put all my stuff when I was doing dangerous stuff. Is it true? No, it's not in this chest. Where'd I put my glass? I thought I just saw it. You guys are probably yelling at me because you've seen it and you're just like, oh my god. And it, yeah, there we go. Glass. Okay, and with our glass, you see glass. Okay, uh, no, wrong thing, lag. Um, with our glass, we're gonna put one glass on top, a diamond block underneath, and border this all up with obsidian. And we're going to get an antimatter relay. Now, what an antimatter relay does, uh, where are we gonna put this bad boy? We're gonna put this bad boy right here. Uh, basically what I can do with an antimatter relay, oops, uh, accidentally brushed my mic. Um, I can put items in here and it, it'll burn them to make EMC one at a time. Uh, kind of slow, but I can upgrade this thing later, although it's pretty expensive to do. And as, I, as you can see, I burned five flowers, got 80 EMC out of it. Cool. Um, and it doesn't create any lag and I've got 80 EMC in there. Now the other item we're going to make requires actually other items to be made first. So where's my charcoal? Charcoal? Okay. 
with one charcoal and our cobblestone, which I forgot. I thought I just had cobblestone. I literally just had cobblestone. <sighs> there we go. Eight cobblestone. We're going to put down our eight cobblestone. Lock show. And lock dish. And we're going to get covalence level one dust. This is the green dust. Um, basically just used in crafting recipes. It's also worth EMC, so you can burn it as um, a fuel of sorts. And let's see what... Next we're going to get some level 2 dust, which is an iron bar with some redstone. And that's the cyan colored dust. And lastly we're going to make the high level, which is a diamond with some coal. And that's going to give us the blue dust. And with all these three of these dusts, we're going to put them in order of lowest to highest on top. And we're going to put a oops, we're going to put stone on either side. And of oh my god, I make this mistake way too often. I've already made it three times this episode, not thinking you have enough material to do crafting, and then not. That's a problem. I guess we'll do it up here because we're here. I'm going to redo that and we're going to put iron underneath our smooth stone. Like so. Silly. Ender is silly. Okay, anyway. And then we're going to put a chest in the middle and we're going to put a diamond on bottom. Or maybe it's the other way around. Like so. Um, and this. And we're going to get an alchemical chest. Now, by itself, uh, we've already seen an alchemical chest. These things are expensive, and I considered using them from the storage room, but I don't really need that much room. But it has a lot of space. It's got so much space, I don't know what to do with it. Um, actually, I do, because we're going to craft it into something else, something more useful for our purposes here. Uh, we're going to put the alchemical chest in the middle. We're going to put four diamonds all around it, and then fill in the corners with obsidian. And we're gonna get an energy condenser. Now, this compared or er, coupled with our um, uh, collector, who's going to uh, help us make more items that we have, and we don't have to deal with the lag of that stupid thing over there. So, as you can see, I have 80 EMC. Let's actually add some more in there. Uh, what do we want to burn? Let's burn some bones. So it'll start burning all those bones into lovely, lovely EMC. And let's say I want... What do I want? Actually, I'll throw in seeds because I also have those and flax seeds and arrows and more arrows and flesh. So we're getting a lot of EMC being burned here. Kind of slow. Not as um uh, fast as the tablet over there, but it's good enough. And I'll probably learn some new things about these machines because I'm using them in new ways that I never have before. But let's say I want more wool. Then it's going to take EMC from my collector and it's going to put it in here. And then it's going to turn them into the item that I put up here. So it's giving me more wool. Um, as you can probably notice, it's still kind of slow-ish. I don't get, I can't get like stacks instantly of it. Uh, what I let's see. Like, what happens if I put an item that's not... Okay, so it burns the item if I just put it in the chest. Does it do it instantly? Oh, it does it so much faster, though. Ooh. Today I learned. Mm-hmm. So what happened... Um, I'm kind of actually learning from this, too. Um, I don't know everything about every single one of these items. What happens if I put gunpowder in? Will it take that? It will take that. That's awesome. So it takes fuel and matter energy. So actually, why don't we burn all our gunpowder then and turn it into diamonds? Because diamonds are lovely. Awesome. This is a major help. This means I can get stuff if so long as I have one of the item. And that's awesome. So that already well then <laughs> more than made up for the cost, I think. I mean, in terms of usefulness, not in terms of raw diamonds, but... Um, so, yeah, that's a fun thing. Um, I think I'm running out of time for this episode. 
ish because I spent so long explaining uh how what I had updated because you know silly bandy cam not being awesome let uh but one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to automate the dark room here and also make it look better because it's cobblestone and I hate it actually since it's cobblestone not anymore um and I also wanted I wanted to automate the, these two things so basically um I can just stand AFK and it'll collect or it'll do the processes and also collect um all the items that fall on the ground and put them in a chest for me cuz I'm lazy and then hopefully I probably won't do it this episode but then I could even attach that to the um system we had down there and then I can get lots and lots of EMC automatically cuz that's fun um but we'll probably just work on automating each of these things individually for the moment so I'm going to cut away and I'm going to do some building and some experimenting and then I'll see you in a bit and I'm back for a little bit guys as I was thinking about how to do some automated machines and stuff I realized I hadn't taught you guys a lot of the stuff I'm going to be using so I'm going to be popping in periodically um, to you it'll be instantaneous so you don't have to worry about it but I'll be showing you new items I'll be using. The first um, item I'm going to be needing are pipes. Uh, it's called cobblestone transport pipe, but these are really just um, def normal pipes. They don't do anything special, but basically um, if you can get an item to go traveling through them, it just carries it. There's nothing special about it. But soon we'll be making... Actually, since we're here, um, I'll put some glass glass down in the middle. You guys saw the recipe for that. It's just glass with two of the block on either side. Um, and I'm going to put wood on either side and that's going to give me wooden pipes. And wooden pipes, if you put them next to a chest and you power them with an engine, which I will show you guys how to make later, it actually sucks items out of a chest and uh, sends them into the next pipe, so like a cobblestone pipe. And the other t kind of pipe I'm going to be using is an obsidian pipe which if you power with an engine will suck up uh, items that are on the ground near it so these all, all three of these pipes and the engines I'll be making are from buildcraft so fun stuff I'll be right back guys okay back for another brief moment um, in education of course um, we've got a new crafting recipe. These are all items you guys know. Wooden planks, glass in the middle, piston underneath, and two wooden gears on either side. Makes a redstone engine. And these basically power uh, these pipes. Like I said, the obsidian and wooden pipes need to be powered uh, by an engine. And the engine itself needs to be powered by some sort of redstone device, which makes it quite handy. Um, basically free energy it's just not as quick as some of the other engines um, or efficient uh, some of the other buildcraft machines actually require better engines than this but for pipes it works perfectly fine it's on it's an unlimited resource because you know you can't run out of redstone energy and yeah they just work really well for some things and not well for others but for our purposes they work well she are in a brick garage. Okay, guys, we have step one, I guess part one, or project one. We'll, we'll go with project one. Project one is done for the episode, with the second being the automated dark room, which I've already started working on, but it's a little more complex than this. Uh, basically, what I have uh, set up here is a machine that will collect all the drops from the mob grinder and put them in our wonderful magical chest and it collects them burns them all into EMC and gives me diamonds um, so it's basically a diamond machine and it's fully automatic I can go AFK for as long as I want and I don't have to worry about picking up mob drops every five minutes um, basically how it works is I have here, I, I guess I'll just scrape off the dirt on one side to show you what's going on. 
I set up obsidian pipes at all the drop points for the mobs, so they'll fall down most, and more or less all the items will fall on the pipe, but it's not really that important, as so long as they fall around the pipe. Um, obsidian pipes, as I told you before, suck up items, um, so long as they're powered by a redstone engine, which all of them are, and so it, it takes up all the items, and it puts them through our cobblestone piping, and then it reaches this iron pipe, and I didn't show you guys how to craft an iron pipe, because I kind of just spaced on it, um, but it's it's the same thing as, you know, like obsidian or cobblestone or whatever, it's just two iron on either side of a glass piece, and it gives you eight iron pipes, and basically what an iron pipe does is you can set it so um, it only has one output, so um, right now it's taking in two inputs from the obsidian sides, but its output um, goes towards the chest, and only the chest, and we also have, you can't really see it, but there's an, also an iron pipe right under the chest, so the only way the items can go is up to the chest, and this is put in there so items don't, uh, like, say, come from this side and go straight on to that side, and force, instead I force them to go through this way, and that's basically it. Then the they go inside the chest and then they get converted to EMC and they make me diamonds and I'm happy. Um, same thing on the other side. Uh, works really well, 100% efficient. Uh, definitely better than what I had, which was just basically go inside my AFK room and wait five minutes and then come out. Um, yeah, kind of a waste of time. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking with the... Uh, dark room, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're back, guys. Um, this is the last little bit. Uh, I'll be showing you because it's getting pretty late for me. I've been not only working on this for a long time, but simultaneously, uh, real life stuff. So, been a long day, but um, here's what I've got in addition to the mob spawner. Uh, this dark room. Uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, the basic idea is done. Um, basically what I have here is right under here I have a deployer which if you remember is the red power machine that deploys or acts like um, like it's right clicking with whatever is in its inventory. In this case I have bone meal here. And when it uh, I sent a redstone signal to it through this button, although this is probably going to change. Actually, it most definitely will change. Um, when it's used under a grass block, it acts like bone meal. If I was using bone meal on that block and it spreads it all over the place. However, since usually this room will be dark, completely dark, all the, like I showed you earlier, the flowers and grass seeds and everything pop out. And that's where phase two comes in is these obsidian pipes that are powered. Um, I kind of had to sacrifice surface area in the dark room for the engines, but oh well. Um, it took a while to figure out how to get the pipes all aligned right with the engines for maximum surface area, but it got done. Um, basically, the pipes are at a stage where they can suck just about all the items in the room up. and. Um, I've got a combination of iron pipes and cobblestone pipes and, of course, obsidian pipes. So ev all the items in the room will get sucked out into this chest, which will probably change into an um, uh, energy condenser like we have over there. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the name of that earlier, but alas, not important. Um, so that's the basic idea. Um, right now it's only working off a single pulse. Uh, I guess I can do a quick demonstration for you guys. Uh, did something spawn in there? Nope. Okay. Just saw the engine and... Piggy, you're going to push me off. I know it. Okay, so right now the room is more or less dark. Um, just about as dark as you can get it. Uh, for now. Of course, I'll be changing things. This is just a basic idea. A work in progress. So I'm going to push the button a few times. And it'll be applying bone meal and you can kind of hear the flowers in the background popping out, listen. That's also the obsidian pipe uh, picking up the items. 
So go back inside the room. Uh, oops, picking up some of the seeds that are meant for the pipes. But the obsidian pipes are more or less getting all the seeds. Um, there's some seeds in the corners here. I'm not sure why the pipe isn't picking it them those up. Its radius should be great enough to get them. So uh, I'm a little confused as to why that is. But as I said, it's a work in progress. The basic idea is down. Um, but it needs to be made better to be more efficient. Uh, one thing's for certain, I'll be replacing this with a redstone timer, which is, if you recall, is the machine that sends out a redstone pulse um, every X amount of time, and you can set that time manually. And this, like I said, will be an energy condenser. Oops. Oops. Okay. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, of course, um, I've been... AFK at this thing for about what four hours ish um, doing homework uh, watching some games uh, stuff like that and I've got 64 diamonds and then another five and that's in addition I have uh, more in a chest those were all made in those four hours so um, I'm happy with that it doesn't seem like a to me, it doesn't seem like a lot for four hours worth of AFK. So, again, the ideas will have to be cultivated about how to get faster EMC. But I'm happy with what I've accomplished today. And I think without any further ado, we're going to wrap this episode up. It's been a pleasure doing episode, I don't know, nine and a half, I guess. Uh, I don't really know what to call it. I mean, I technically already recorded episode nine, but I'll call it nine and a half. And uh, next time, I think we'll be, we will get back into the swing of things and we'll be looking at uh, the forestry mod, which is currently um, the next set of items, or at least that's the mod that they all come from. So should be exciting to see and craft. Uh, forestry is a mod, it's probably the only mod in Feed the Beast that I am not uh, familiar with. Um, I've almost never really used any part of it just because I don't know I've just never used any part I've always used other machines to make my creations but should be interesting so until episode 10 guys I will see you next time oh wait one more thing couldn't resist can't resist Ah, I can't get him. Oh, well, guys, I'll see you next time.